Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I have been covering Deep Seek's model for the last one year and always their models are of top notch quality. There is no doubt about that. Most of the time I try to get them installed locally as you can see on the channel that I have covered various models over the last few months. But this time Deep Seek has released a model which is called as Deep Seek R1 Lite Preview. This model is only provided as a hosted model from them and it is still in preview. This model has beaten O1 from model from OpenAI by a wide margin on various benchmarks. One of the coolest thing about this model is that its reasoning and step by step thinking capabilities are second to none at the moment and that is quite impressive. So it seems that there is no mode for any LLM at the moment and all of the thought that maybe OpenAI's GPT-4 01 model is the best model when it comes to reasoning is now in doubt because this model from DeepSeek can reason on par with that model if not a better so in this video i'm going to show you how you can access it and we will also more importantly test it out on various reasoning benchmarks i will also drop the link to their website from there which is deepseek.com you can simply sign up and log in with your free email account and you get a few free, uh, free credits to test this model out so go to deepseek.com and from there once you have signed in you will be presented with this screen where this is a very simple chatbot make sure that you turn on this deep think and this is how you can start chatting with this um, preview light model so let me test it out on first question and i will be testing it out on various riddles and puzzles so for example this riddle is a very famous riddle which is called as Aunt uh, Agatha Riddle. So I'm asking it five people, Alice, Bob, Charlie, David, and Emily are lined up and wear either a black or white hat. Each person can see the heads of the other four, but not their own. No communication is allowed. Devise a strategy for each person to determine the color of their own hat. So let me run it. Also, you see, I have 50 messages left for today and that is the limit per day. So look at this. So it is thinking and let it just think through and then I will walk you through what is happening here. While it thinks and produces the answer, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. Agent QL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will drop the link to their website in a video's description. Okay, coming back here, it is still going on and on. And look at the context. This is this has really uh, sort of amazed a lot of people out there because I haven't even seen this with OpenAI's model. It is still going strong. It's not a small riddle, so I will let it run. Also, uh, okay, so I think it is still going on. I also have tried it out with 3000 to 4000 lines of code. I just simply copied and pasted it and it was able to read through the whole code. So that is simply amazing. So if you have large repos, you can also go and check it out. Anyway, I'm I'm not going to stop it. I will let it run and then I will pause the video. Once it finishes, I will show you the whole stuff there. So it has produced a very long winded response, but let me go up and just have a quick look as what is happening. So you see, it has just started reasoning through it and it is talking to itself, it seems like we do whenever we are thinking about a problem. Okay, so I have got this puzzle here about five people, this and this. The challenge is to come up with a strategy that allows each person to figure out the color of their own hat. And then it is just thinking, hmm, look, this is just like humans. This seems tricky because each person can see four hats, but not on their head. Maybe I should start by thinking about a simpler version. In simple case, maybe they need to use a different approach. Wait, maybe I should think about the larger group of five people. So in a group of five, for example, then it is coming up with examples. 
then it is testing out with specific example and then it is trying out different ways different strategies different criteria and then it is uh, rejecting by itself when it is unable to find you see and then it is just going on and on so maybe this isn't a reliable strategy so it is refuting its own de uh, deductions and conclusions and then coming up with new ones and with each iteration it is improving so that is what really is amazing here okay let's try out another one i'm going to ask it uh, maybe i'll just ask you write me a research paper about data set uh, maybe I'll just say rag in AI. That's it. Let's keep it simple. There you go. Again, you see it has started it. It is saying for, then I'll explain the rag architecture in detail. I should also discuss benefit of rag and then including some use case studies. Finally, I'll wrap it up. I should make sure I cite relevant literature and then the, the, the paper has started first abstract introduction background rag framework and then attention mechanism and you can imagine what is happening here and then there's a conclusion and then there are few references and of course mine was a very very simple innocuous prompt you can just go through the prompt and make sure that you um, make it more proper and it it is going to create a very high quality uh, paper for you let's try out a long winded coding question here so let me just paste a big chunk of code here and i'm asking it to identify the logical error in the provided banking simulator code that causes inconsistent account balances transfer and you can see it's fairly okay i mean it's not a very huge code but still so let me run it there you go so i'm actually very impressed by the reasoning there you go so see it is going the, through the code, it is understanding the code, going through the main function and then just checking everything here. And then it has gone into the main function, there's a transfer operation, transfer method. This seems correct at first class, it, but maybe there is an issue with this. Wait, this is good, I mean, just like a human. And then it is looking at the ATM class, ATM, and then it is going through the whole code and just checking and then ticking the boxes where it is okay where it is not and then it is testing it out and then after test it is confirming that it looks good and then it is going on and on and on exactly so this is the logical error is this exactly this that is amazing and then it is explaining it and then it has given us the corrected code how good is that and then a conclusion towards that so as usual uh, as i was expecting deep six model is not only good but you can see that 50 messages is quite good when you are testing it out with this deep thinking so very impressive test it out as i said i will drop the link to it in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching